everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. Now this one here um, you may recognise if you've been following my channel for a while. Back in June last year I made a really lovely oriental um, gift bag and um, I want to do this year every month a favourite kind of revisited again. So this is the one for January. So I'm revisiting the oriental gift bag and I've made it a mini style. And this is cuteness overload because these are just adorable. Um, I've made three different different styles in terms of fastenings and handles just to give you some more ideas. My favourite is, is this one. I just absolutely adore it. I just imagine a little girl just carrying it. Now I haven't stuck the bottoms down because I want to actually keep these um, flat packed um, because I've got plans for them um, when I go back to the UK again so I need them to be able to go in my case but again if you want to make now and then just store them away they are perfect for that because then all you have to do is glue the base down when you come to use them so that's another good thing as well about it so when we get to that part I will tell you how to stick it still if you want to keep it just like I have then do so um, so that one's there with the handles on both sides we've got this one here which was by accident really that this one um, this style came into play because the papers I'm using are these wonderful papers from first edition storyteller they've got a real Asian feel about them very luxurious really deep vibrant colors colors um, but some of the papers are shiny so these ones here this one here that I use has got a real shiny to it shiny to it a real shiny finish to it so when you put them in the middle here they rub against each other and they didn't actually really kind of sit in place so much um, so I decided to stick this ribbon all the way around and tie it on the top and it actually worked out really really nice so they do kind of sit there now but you can kind of see already that one's starting to move and you just didn't get this flush kind of self close finish as well as you did on the others but again just opens up and this one's stuck down it reveals a really nice size little gift bag or box there so that's that one and then this one here I've done again I haven't stuck the bottom down and this one's just a more like a shoulder bag style um, with the one handle there and again these papers here that I've used these two in particular are really rough because they've got this embossing on the outside so I think that's helped with the closure um, on the top here because it kind of the two sides rub against each other and probably grip each other because that's really snug it's got such a nice closure to it um, and there you have it they're just so so cute I was literally talking to myself making these going oh my god look how cute it is so yeah <laughs> really like these ones so um, there's three so I'm going to show you another one the one I'm going to show you is going to be this finish because it's my favorite I really just love this style um, but these are the papers here um, as I said by first edition um, and they're just lovely and you get all kinds you get really thick card at the beginning and then it goes into these like shiny ones and you've got the heat embossing and then you've got double-sided at the back so I'm using one of the double-sided ones for the next one okay I'll share all the links in my blog post below so this is what I'm going to be using today. So this is the paper pattern that I've got. I've got some ribbon here. You need two pieces of 10 inches. So I've got about 20 here, so that's okay. Um, numerous hole punches there, because I'm going to talk you through um, these ones in a moment when we get to it. This tag was actually going to be for this one, but I was undecided whether to use it. So I'm still going to keep it with it, and then when it comes to it, I can decide whether or not, because these ones have obviously got them stuck on there. Um, Okay, so you need two pieces of six by six. I've already prepped one there. You need four brads, if that's what you're gonna use. But again, I'll show you all that when we get to it so you can decide what way you want to do it. So grab your six by six piece of card. Now I'm gonna turn it over because you can see the score line's much better on this plain side here. So what you want to do is, first of all, pick a six inch side. Bear in mind, you might have print. Decide which way you want the print to go. I mean, I've got this going along. Um, this way instead so I mean if you want it this is going to be the top basically okay so six inches so you're going to first of all score it two inches and then at five and three quarters of an inch okay then rotate it like so pop it back up there and you're going to score at one inch and at four inches then rotate sorry keep it there you're also going to score at half an inch but you're going to go past that first score line and down to the second score line then rotate it and then you're going to do a score line at half an inch just down to the first score line and at one and a half inches again just down to the first score line so if I just bring this up here you can see 
what you want to have scored there. So I've got this one, for some reason it's not really coming up, there we go. And that one there, I think it's because I've done them on the other side, so I've got doubles, there we go, that's better. So that's what you want to have. Okay, so you can freeze frame there if you just want to make sure that you've got them all in the right place. So do that again on your second piece and get rid of your scoreboard, but keep your stylus. And grab a ruler. And what you want to do is just flip it on this side and along this edge here, you want to just put a little marker. So you're going to hold your ruler up at this score line here. Okay. So just pop your ruler up there and you just want to mark it three quarters of an inch down. Okay, so you can see where I've marked it three quarters of an inch. I've got that score line just meeting there. So I just come down here. So you're going to mark there. Just put a little notch or a little pencil mark at three quarters of an inch down. And again, go up to this score line with your ruler again along that score line there and just mark it three quarters of an inch down. Okay. Okay, and then what you're going to do is just with your stylus, you're going to join the bottom of this score line down to that little marker that you just made. And again, so on this side, just from that bottom of that score line, again, down to there. So if I just bring that up, you can see now what I've just done. Okay, so from here, if I do it on this side, so from here down to here is three quarters of an inch. So again, here, here, down to here. It's three quarters of an inch. That's where you want to mark there and then join that and that together. Again, there and there. Okay, repeat that on the second piece. Okay, so now we just need to burnish all of our score lines. So just grab my bone tool there. Be careful if you're using any of the foiled papers or anything with the embossing on because you don't want to scratch any of that off. So you might find just using your fingers to burnish or just lightly, very slowly. Put your bone folder across. You won't be able to score all the score lines. Just um, don't worry about uh, burnishing these ones, sorry, and this one here because we need to do some cutting before we do so. Okay, so grab some scissors and what you want to do with your tab on your right hand side here is you're just going to cut up this bottom one and just kind of cut out that score line like so. It's just a tiny little piece. All right, just gives you a nicer finish when we close it. And again, this end here, just cut up and cut that one out. And then I'll just also just notch off the corner there of that tab. This one here, you just want to cut out. Okay, and again, just notch off that corner there. Then rotate it again, so we've got all this at the top and you're going to cut down just to that first score line here. And then cut down this one, just to the first score line, and this one here, again, oh, just down to the first score line. Okay, and then we're going to cut these pieces out completely. So just very neatly, because this bit will be shown. Or you'll see it on the sides. So you just want to make sure you've got a nice straight line cut there. Just make sure I get it right into there. <laughs> That's the way I want to do it. I want to make sure I can get my scissors right in there. Like so. There we go. Okay. So that is what you will have. So now you can burnish this one here. So you just want to fold that one down. I went a bit crooked there. How come I done that? Bring that back up a bit. There we go. Okay. And then with these ones here that we've scored like this. With the side that's going to be facing out outside of your box, you just want to fold them up and then this one here, just kind of bend, see what I'm doing there, just kind of pinching it because obviously you don't want to use your bone tool at all because you don't want to score any further down past there, but you just want to have them both like so. With this piece here, fold it down and then you just want to cut with your scissors in the middle, you want to cut down maybe about three quarters of the way see how far I've kind of cut down there and then just very slightly you want to take another little like kind of notch out of it so I'm just taking like a, a slither and it's just so that there's enough room for both sides of the um, card to kind of sit in there so you can see there what I've kind of removed okay so now that is what you should have 
we just hold that one there okay so I'm going to turn that one over and now I need to put some of my red tape on the tab here so facing up you just want to run your tape along here again if you're using any kind of foiled papers and stuff like that you red tapes really good um, sometimes some of the um, score tape and double-sided tape things like that they might not um, stick for long so make sure you use a super strong so now we should have two pieces like so so now we need to start putting them together so what we do actually before we stick it we do our hole punches so and then you need to decide now how you want your box to close so if you want to do this style then you don't need to worry about this piece um, and then you'll just stick down your um, ribbon around it once we put it all together um, if you want to do this one here you need to put a hole punch on these two sides okay which is where this tool comes in handy because this one allows you to hole punch anywhere on a surface area so if your um, hole punch for example cannot reach in I mean this one could but if it couldn't then the other option is to use your um, pokey tool and a foam mat underneath and just push that through okay so there are a few options there but otherwise I would highly recommend this one here by X Cuts. I'll share all the links in my blog because it's just brilliant I really like this one um, now I'm going to be doing this finish here so what I want to do is with my ruler is I'm going to flip it over because I just want to mark a little pencil mark so how far down did I come there one and a quarter so I'm just going to grab a pencil and just roughly put one and a quarter there and then I'm going to come in by three quarters of an inch on both sides so then I'm just going to mark with a cross one there line that up and again one there okay turn this one over so again just come down one and a quarter put a little marker there line my ruler up and again Come in three quarters, so one there, and three quarters just there. Okay, then whenever you use this, make sure you've got a good mat on the bottom, like a self healing mat. You don't want to do it directly with your wooden table underneath because it will leave an impression, and don't do it on glass because you can run the risk of, of breaking the glass. So you just hold it over the mark, push it down, and it will punch your holes for you, like so. And again. Oh, it does spin. <laughs> Hold that down. There we go. Do you need to put a little bit of force into it? So bear that in mind if you maybe um, struggle, you know, uh, pushing down on things. It might not be the best tool because there is, you do have to put some, you know, bit of force there. Um, but it's really good. So there you go. I've got my two um, holes now. So now I'm going to grab my ribbon. So I said two, two pieces of 10 inch. I'm just going to cut this one like so and again make sure that's the same that was a little bit longer actually so I'll cut that one down there we go so now I'm going to be using these little brads to attach it and what I do is I've got this hole punch here is about a, uh, one eighth of an inch um, hole so I'm just going to punch a hole through the bottom of my ribbon like so just roughly don't worry if it's a little bit off pop the brad through that hole and then what I want to do is with my pokey tool once I put this on I'm going to be pushing this so it's all kind of hidden underneath that brad so I'm going to slide it through this one here just lie it down you can see there anything that's overhanging sticking out as you're pushing the brad down just kind of push it all underneath that brad so it's all hidden and then split the black the blad the brad and there you will get a really nice finish on your bag so then bring that one round again I'm just going to put a little hole punch like so grab my other brad feed that one through pop it into place and then you can then again grab your pokey doll and just feed any of those kind of stragglers you don't want any of that hanging out and as you push down, it will kind of hold it all there in place. Like 
like so. Again, just split that open underneath, and there you've got a really nice finish. So just repeat that again on this second piece. Okay, so there's my two pieces now ready, and now it's just a matter of putting it together. So just take off um, one of these red pieces here, and you just want to line up the edge here with the top of the tab and this bottom score line here you want to line up with this score line here so just line it all up together like so okay we'll flip it over to all the brads in. actually I'll rub out that little pencil mark there now as well not that anyone's really going to look inside like so but you never know fold this one over bring all this over and again it should just naturally all line up but just hover this piece over just in case but again as long as your bottom score line hooks up in place and the tops there all together all right so like I said I'm not going to stick the bottom but if you are going to stick it all down because you're going to be using it now put one of these down first have a preference to your front or your back so this is going to be the back for example so I put that one down first put a load of glue on there put both of these down because we've cut off those little bits you don't get no overhang put a load of glue along there and then stick that one down okay so but I'm going to leave that flip it all over and then all you need to do is fold these two pieces down and then kind of start pinching in where you pinch those you know you didn't really burnish them you just pinch those score lines it'd be just easier once you've stuck yours down as well when you come to put it together because I obviously haven't Okay, so bring it all down so it all sits in like so, okay? You see now it all sits on the side. And put your hand underneath and make sure you push out on the side here so you get a nice curved there and here because that's what will ha obviously help it all stay together. And then again, push that Isn't all down. Isn't it just cute? Absolutely love these. So like I said, I'm going to keep mine up like that because I haven't stuck And then i got this one here. Down. So again, like I said, just make sure you... Do the top and then push so you've got nice curved sides on all of it there. Again, fold that one down. That one's all ready. And then there's that one there. So there you have it. There's my four lovely little gift um, bags. Hope you like this one. Um, like I said, every month I'm going to revisit a project from last year. So it will be my favourites and kind of the, the best sellers, let's say, the most watched ones. So I've got some really ideas in the pipeline. So I hope you like the projects today. Um, please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.